Where is the kangaroo? Right, so this is the number line problem in HackerRank, or the number line jumps problem in HackerRank. And you have two kangaroos. First kangaroo starts at location X1, and the second kangaroo starts at location X2. X1 moves at a rate of V1 meters per jump, and X2 moves at a rate of V2 meters per jump. So if we think about kangaroo 1 being at a position of x1, moving at a rate of v1, and then kangaroo 2 starting a position of x2 and moving at a rate of v2. This is what we can hypothesize, and the, the question, the, the problem here is, will these kangaroos ever land at the same particular position if they're moving forward towards positive infinity on a line, on a linear path? Or will they not? So our output will either be yes or no. Okay? Let's dive into how to tackle this problem. The most important thing to think about here, x1, the position of the first kangaroo, will always be a position lesser than x2. So that means the second kangaroo will always start at some point, whether it's one point ahead or a thousand points ahead, it will start ahead of x1. If the velocity of x1 is lesser than x2, as you can now think, x1 will never be able to move at a rate that will allow it to reach or surpass x2, so it will never even manage to land on the, set, on the same square, or the same particular point on this, on this linear line. So what, based on this notion, what we're going to do is we're going to have our output, our initial output, set to zero, set to no, sorry, because no is pretty much most likely case, because it's very rare that they're actually going to be on the same particular position. And the next thing we've got to think about here is we're going to check if x1, uh, which is always going to be a lesser position than um, x2, we're going to see if the rate at which the first kangaroo moves is going to be larger than the, the rate at which the second kangaroo moves. And how we do that is like this. What we're doing is we're checking if the rate at which the kangaroo is moving will allow it to get to the position that the other kangaroo will be at, otherwise they'll never be able to reach each other as we mentioned earlier. So if it's the case that they are, uh, it's moving at the right particular speed, then we do what's called while the position of x1 is smaller than or equal to the position of x2. What it does here is it checks if the location of the first kangaroo is ever at any point greater than the location of the second kangaroo, and if that's the case, it doesn't do this particular line of code, this doesn't run for this while loop. But if it is, then it does run a while loop. And what is it looking for in this while loop? Well, it's looking to see if the location of the two particular kangaroos are ever, is ever the same. Okay, so what happens if that happens? Well, we output yes, of course. And also, we give it a line break. Because, or, excuse me, not a line break, we give it an algorithmic break. Because there's no point carrying on here, because we've got the piece of code that we, we've got the output that we're looking for. Now, if we don't get that output, if the positions aren't the same, then what should we do? Well, we need an else statement that says, let's update the location at which both kangaroos are at. And we do that through an x1 equals x1 plus v1 and x2 equals x2 plus v2. Now this is all you need. This is all you need for it to work apart from, obviously, a return statement. We want to return on whatever our output is at that particular stage. Okay, let's give that a go. Bravissimo! That's what we were looking for. Two congratulations. And let's try all of the test cases. Not a red light in sight. Lovely to see. All right then. Bye.